Hi, my name is Colin Zauner. I'm an Applications Controls Engineer here at KEB America. This video series will overview how to collect data from a Compact Logics PLC and push it to an AWS IoT endpoint using our C6 router and CombiVis Connect. The software programs that we're going to be using is KEB's CombiVis Connect, KEB's CombiVis Studio HMI software, and also the AWS console. All the AWS services that we're going to be using are in the free tier program. So before you start following along with this video, make sure you set up a account for yourself. To get started, we're going to log into the AWS console and start to configure the AWS services. First, log into the AWS console and choose the AWS IoT service. Choose Onboard from the Resource Options on the left side of the console. We'll be configuring the C6 router using the AWS Connection Wizard. Under Configuring a Device, select Get Started, and finally select Get Started Again. On the next screen, choose a development platform. This won't matter. I'll choose Windows and then select Node.js SDK Kit and select Next. AWS calls all devices in the cloud things. Things are simply records of your physical devices connected to the cloud. In this case, I'll just use the name C6 Router Demo. When you are finished naming the thing, download the connection kit to your machine. This will include the security certificates required to publish messages to the AWS cloud. If you want, you can run a script to test your connection. For now, I'll skip this and move on. To see the newly created thing, select Manage and Things. Take note of the HTTP endpoint that the router will be publishing data to. Before we move on, we need to define a set of policies and rules that AWS services can use when they run. Let's go to the IAM Management Console and create a role that will give the AWS IoT AWS DynamoDB and CloudWatch full access to our project. In a production environment, you may want to limit the policies further to increase security and protect from mistakes. Once our security policy is set up, we will need to set up a rule to process the data that gets published from the router. The router sends data packets in a binary format for faster and efficient data transfer of the tags it logs. Each packet will need to be decoded into JSON format using a rule and a lambda function. To create a rule that will process every packet received from the router, select Act and Create. Give the rule a name, and then I'll write an SQL query that will match the data packets coming in. Use SQL version 2016.3.23. Then give a name for the topic that the router will subscribe to. I'll use raw. Now we will create an action to match each data query. The action will trigger a Lambda function that will process the data to JSON and send it to a database. The Lambda service is a compute service offered by AWS that can run code in response to events without a server. AWS handles all the compute resources behind the scenes. To configure the Lambda function, select Add Action and select the option to invoke a Lambda function passing the message data. Then select Create a new resource and give the new function a name using the Node.js 6.10 runtime and select the permission role we previously created. Finally, select Create function. Next, we need to enter the code that will run to process the raw data from the router and send it to a DynamoDB database. I have the code already prepared for me. I will attach this in the link below. Copy and paste the code into the function code box. The sample code will need to be modified slightly with our thing endpoint and the name of the DynamoDB table that we will push data to.
copy the thing URL and paste it in the script. After modifying our script, scroll down and configure a timeout to stop the code in case of an error. Five seconds is more than enough time for our example. Finally, save the function in the IoT rule window. Click Add Action and Create Rule, selecting the newly created Lambda function. The last step for setting up our AWS services will be to create a DynamoDB table. Find the AWS resource DynamoDB from the Resources Console and select it. Select Create Table and write the name All Messages that we used in the Lambda script previously. I'll keep all the settings at default for now and press Create the Table. At this point, we are finished with the AWS services setup, and we are now ready to configure the C6 router and its data logging project to publish data to the AWS cloud.